So I'd now like to introduce our chair, uh, Marcus Schneider, to say a few words about the department and about our former colleague. All right. Um, so thank you and, and thank you for all for being here. Um, I wanna start with a few uh, notes of gratitude just to echo what Juan already said to really appreciate, particularly Jamie, Deneen and Melanie for helping us put this uh, event together. Without them, it wouldn't happen. So. Um, I also want to thank our great faculty uh, who all share an incredible passion for teaching and dedication uh, to our students' success. And, and you see that in the room, you see that in these awards. Um, we've had a very busy year that proved not to be quite the reprieve from the pandemic that we had all hoped, but um, since we're in week six of spring quarter, I think we might just make it through this one yet again. Um, no, I think we're actually doing better than just making it. Um, we've had quite significant innovation and there's a lot going on in the department that I think also deserves uh, some celebration that all of us had some hand in. Um, the first thing that I wanna point out is, and then one of our award winners uh, is a mobile of this, is that we launched a four plus one program during the pandemic and the first cohort in that program is now matriculating into the master's portion of that. And those of you who are in the room, congratulations, that's fantastic. So, um, we are also working on a Keystone experience, which for the undergraduate uh, program in this curriculum, Paula Cole has been significantly leading that effort and with input from the department and particularly uh, Yabusi Ashar and John Nicola Larson have been influential in that. It's also connecting to building out an internship program and that's just really exciting to see and we'll pilot next year and we'll change and better our undergraduate um, even better than what you guys experienced. <laughs> um, so uh, we also created a, a role, a new role in the department, the Director of Graduate Studies, because our graduate offerings are growing. Uh, I wanna thank Juan for filling that role this year. Um, that's not easy and it's really important going forward for us to succeed in these different offerings and, and seeing of that. Uh, we launched a graduate certificate in economics because we know there are students out there who are not quite ready for a master's, but who are interested in exploring graduate education the same way that our master's allows students to explore graduate education before committing to a PhD. So um, quite a lot of uh, exciting things going on. And all of these endeavors can only move forward when we all come together uh, and develop them together and, and find ways to put that work in. And I just want to sort of stop here and, and appreciate that we have done that as a department and that's really significant during the pandemic. And so finally, we get to be in a room and say, yay. Um, now, I wanna turn a little bit here uh, because this department, as you're noticing, prides itself on centering the importance of history and economics, both in terms of economic history and history of economic ideas. Uh, it is also important, therefore, to recognize our own intellectual and institutional history. Uh, many of the innovations that I've listed uh, just now started under my predecessors. A lot of them were his idea, and so, um, and I haven't ruined them yet, so that's good. Um, so I just want to sort of recognize here that not just in our research, but also in how we operate as a, pro, our, our, as a department and run our programs, right? Builds on who came before us on the foundations that they have left us with. Uh, and so as chair in particular, I wanna thank uh, Yabusi Ashar for the, the platform that he has left me with. And I wanna recognize also uh, Peter Ho who just retired uh, and may in fact be joining us via live stream, I very much hope, um, but who, has built the foundation that we get to do these things on. over many, many, you would probably agree, too many years as chair uh, of the department. Um, and I just wanna say that I've spent so many hours in Peter's office uh, because he often had his door off or open, talking uh, to him, learning about the, the department, learning about economics, um, learning about 
DU, uh, and that has been really influential. Um, and in the spirit, I want to now turn to also remember uh, our late colleague, Tracy Mott. Um, so Tracy Mott came to DU in the early 1990s. Uh, and in fact, swapped chairing the department with Peter for roughly 25 years. Uh, Tracy had a profound impact on the department, including through his vision of what our introductory courses uh, should be like, that they should eschew the traditional split of micro macro that you find in mainstream programs. Um, through his many years of teaching origins of modern economics, uh, uh, you know, centers history of economic thought in our graduate curriculum. Um, and through his thoughtful engagement with ideas and just his deep caring for students. Tracy was also an eminent scholar of the ideas of Michael Kalecki and Joseph Steindl and made numerous significant contributions to post-Keynesian macro directly, but also indirectly through his support for junior scholars uh, throughout his career. Even though I do not work in macro, I'm among those who benefited from Tracy's gener intellectual generosity, his willingness to discuss ideas, and his depth of knowledge across so many subjects, um, including all aspects of economics, philosophy, history, music, baseball, which I know nothing about. Um, we recently had a celebration of life uh, event for Tracy. Um, here on campus and hearing all the different voices from Tracy's life uh, remember him was really deeply moving. A recurring theme across those testimonials was in fact Tracy's generosity. Starting from his days at Stanford, people spoke about Tracy helping them in transformative and in fact career defining ways. A pattern that repeated at CU Boulder where he was before he joined us at DU and continued through his decades in the department. I started in 2009 and moved into the office next to Tracy's. And when he was on campus, which was pretty reliably every afternoon, he'd show up around between noon and two, um, his door would always be open and welcome to anyone who wanted to discuss their ideas with him. Whether student or colleague, whether in our department or another department, more than likely he would end up digging through a pile of paper in his office. He had these enormous stacks and he would know exactly which stack around which height to go to. Um, and he would dig something out and hand it to you because he had pretty much always already thought about what you were talking about, read about it, possibly written about it. Um, and yet when you talk to him, uh, he didn't make you feel like he knew more. He was interested in your ideas. Uh, and I think that was a, a real strength of, of his. Um, Tracy was adamant about reminding students and colleagues and friends, and this is still in our curriculum, uh, traces of, of that, uh, or that's not the right way to say it, that laid the foundation for our curriculum, um, that economics as a social science is fundamentally about people. Uh, and I think he took that sentiment further because when you talk to him about quite abstract ideas, it was not just that he reminded you that this had real world implications for people's lives. It's that he genuinely engaged with you when he was talking to you. And I think that was something quite special that made him a beloved teacher and mentor to the many, many students that he had in his career. And so, uh, Tracy, unfortunately, had to retire in 2018, uh, but he was still research active in contact with many of us, and unfortunately, he passed away last November. We'll just like to take a moment to remember. All right, so while we still grieve his passing and miss Tracy very much, uh, I now get to turn to the chair and uh, announce that it is my great honor to that we've received many numerous uh, generous don donations in Tracy's name, which is allowing us to establish a Tracy Mott fund in his memory. And uh, this fund, will, fund we're, we're planning to use that to launch a second annual event, probably in the fall, dedicated to the discussion of and dissemination of current research in economics 
that we are working to organize so that it involves faculty, students, and community partners. And I think that's a fantastic way to, to honor Tracy's memory for the department. Uh, we also look uh, looking for ways to add a student award, particularly uh, to recognize MA thesis work in Tracy's name. Um, so that's what that fund is for. And I would not be doing my job as chair if I did not mention that establishing this fund means it will appear on our donation page, um, just like the Fag Foster Fund that supports this annual event. Um, and that you're welcome to contribute to if you're interested in supporting the mission of our department and to preserving Tracy's legacy. So um, with that, I wanna congratulate all the award winners, fantastic job done. And now go back to celebrating a year in the rear view mirror, lives ahead. <laughs>